Good morning. morning. Are we terrific this morning? Where has the year gone? It seems like we were just in Nashville. It has been a terrific year, and being back in Texas is awesome. The last time we were in Texas, I was a little bit scared because my first time coming out here introducing myself to all of you. And now five years later, it seems natural to be out here talking to you. At that point when we were in San Antonio, I ended my speech with saying that we were going to rock this association. And that was a code word for we're going to evolve this association, we're going to grow this association, we're going to change this association for the betterment of all of you. So you can see in a little bit, when I get a little further along, whether we've committed and done exactly what we promised we were going to do. But let's first talk about this year. In retrospect, this year has been a year of growth and change, from new programs to working on a new strategic plan to the, the, the bringing CSFA under the fold of CMA. It has been an active year. New events including BMI Sports and Recreation in Scottsdale in January, and we actually did another one just a month ago. Communication Summit in Atlanta, and a Capital Improvement Summit in Chicago. Those are just some of the, the new programs uh, that we have offered, and there's more in the works. We also had growth in our numbers. If we look at Nashville, it was, as far as we know, the, the largest CMA conference in, in memory. This conference is a little bit lower, which is what we expected, on par with San Francisco which was at that point in time about a 12% growth, and then we had another 10% in Nashville. So we sort of leveled off, which is where we expected uh, for conference here. Still very, very awesome, and still a very large uh, members in attendance. We also have grown in our member engagement, and one of the tools that we have done to add and improve our member engagement is our Connect Communities. Now I know we're still learning that, online platform, but that is our future. The future is online. The future is connecting online. So I would encourage you, if you have not been part and joined in one of the CMA communities, please do so, because that will continue to evolve. The nice thing about those communities is all those conversations are archived, and it allows us to, to cultivate that and reuse that, and when you're looking for something, you can find it generally in those communities over time. We've also grown in our service to clubs. CRC, Club Resource Center, has grown. And I'm pleased to say that we've added 15 new courses going into this new year. A lot of those courses are on management of people. And that is our most critical asset. And that is very important. So if you have not looked at CRC, I would encourage you to do so. I mentioned earlier our Connect Communities. One of the most vibrant of those Connect Communities is our best practices community, where we exchange best practices, bring in speakers or Q&A type of online uh, folks. And so it is a great community. And if you're not part of it, please consider joining it. Financially, we have continued to grow and continue to be very healthy financially. You can see we ended the year with growth in revenues and a healthy profit. I'm a little slow sometimes because I finally have realized from some of the board and other members saying, geez, you have a profit. How do you do that? Because in our clubs, if we had a profit, that means we have to cut dues. You don't want to have a profit. Well, best practice in associations is to have about a 5% bottom line until you get the reserves to where um, they should be, and we're nowhere close to that. So having these types of profitabilities is the norm for associations and is what we're supposed to be doing, different from clubs or some of your clubs. We've gone through a strategic plan that has guided us the past four or five years, and that plan has served us well. But it's time to reset and refocus, and we've been doing that over this past year, thanks to you as the members answering a, a survey that helped us to target Thanks to, thanks to all the committees 
that we've used and ultimately at LLC, our leadership conference in September, everybody joined in to develop a new strategic plan. But let's go back a little bit and look at, at what's changed in this strategic plan. We've really gone from top to bottom, inside and out, and looked at everything we've done. New member programs, internal operations. We've changed our relationships and have great global partners that we've continued to expand. We've changed our name. We now have connected logos with all our chapters. We've restructured the club foundation. We began a journey of alignment between chapter and national, and we've acquired CSFA. So I have a little prompt that I want to show you that I went to eBay, and if the cameras can focus in on this, I want to, I feel like this represents the journey that we've been on for the past five years. And I've turned up the lights. I turned up the lights because if you don't know what this is, I want you to raise your hand and be honest. And look at all the hands going up. And this is important. Those hands are going up because they don't care. And this means we need to continue to evolve this association because this, and those of you that know this and those of you that don't know this, this is how we used to do our credits to get credit for, for CCM. We used to take 19,000 of these back in the office and scan them in. I'm going to throw that down there because... That's the past, but it shows that we need to continue to evolve. Thank you. One of the things that I'm pretty proud of, the board is proud of, and staff, is to look financially, because we were pretty, pretty hurting a few years ago. 2014, our revenues were 7.4 million. Today, they're 11 million. We've grown 48%. Our member equity, still in the red, but look how that's changed, an 86% increase. We're almost out of the red. I so wanted to be out of the red for this year. Our debt, we've reduced our debt by 24%. Did we rock you? Absolutely. And I give all the credit to you as members, to the board, and to staff. I'm just here to sort of captain the ship. So it's time to toast our past but focus on the future because all those hands went up. They don't care about the past five years. You don't care about the past five years. It's the next five years that's really going to keep us moving. So where are we going over this next five years? We have a new strategic plan. It's online. And these are the, it, there's a lot to it. And these are the big areas. The club professional, the profession itself the student, the club, the chapter, the association, and the future. It is a bit different from our old strategic plan which focused on professional development and research and member engagement. While all those things we're going to do, we've refocused it in these areas. What I find extremely gratifying and special about this is one of the areas is the club. If your club is healthy, you as professionals are likely to be much more healthy. So there is a push for us to focus more on the club. While we have been doing governance summits, we now have an insert in the magazine that you can pass along to your board. There's a desire for us to do more. Club Resource Center is another way. So we continue to push. And so this strategic plan, we will start unpacking. I will start sharing more in my blog and elsewhere. And we'll start unpacking it with the committees. There's a lot of work to do, and I am so excited about all the work we're going to do over the next five years. So that is the strategic plan. It is online, and more to come on that. Let's talk about what we're going to do this year. This is a busy slide, but I want to share sort of some of the things we have uh, planned. First of all, bottom left, digital membership cards. Thank you, Kelly Williams, for allowing me to use your image. Um, digital membership cards. If you don't have yours, we're no longer giving cards. We're doing it online. They are safe and secure. Behind that is a membership application. Wow. Have you ever tried to become a member of CMA? It is laborious. We go on to Amazon. You know, we go on to Apple. We can order real quick. To become a member, you yeah, got to do an application for the chapter, an application for national, you got checks going for it. We need to change that. We need to come up with a common practice to where we can have one application that everybody looks and vets, and then away we go. We need to get, we need to get with the 2000s, maybe 2010, if not 2020. 
Contemporary club management, we have started that journey of updating our competencies. That journey continues. Contemporary club management is, uh, it, it will be, begin in process and that book will come out next year. It will be an online book. It will be extremely updated. That also cascades into our BMI programs. All of the BMI programs are gonna go on, be gone through to make sure from a competency standpoint, they represent what you all have told us as far as how the competencies are represented. Over on the right is something called Club Management Weekly. I can't wait for you to see Club Management Weekly. We have a new newsletter coming out that is pretty special. You're gonna love it, and I'm just gonna tease you and end right there. It's different from everything else you're getting. Under that is the website. I have been waiting for five years to update our website, and it's something that has been sorely needed. But, unlike you as a club, where your website is sort of your storefront, we're in a different business as the association. We're in the content business, whether it's education, or whether it's communities, or whether it's newsletters, or whether it's the magazine. We're here to create content. So over the past five years, I have been very aggressively doing more and more to create content for all of you. But we now need to go back and organize that content and tag that content properly so that when you get on the website and log in, you get an experience that's, that's dedicated and focused on you so that everybody would have a different website experience. So there's a lot of work that we need to do to get our content updated that we have begun that journey before we get to the website. But it's coming. It is coming and you're gonna like it once it's there. I'm not sure, it's probably an 18 month journey. I'm not sure we'll have it ready for next year at this time, but one of the things we will start to do is put out prototypes as we get our content up to date. So those are some of the things that we are gonna do this year. Two key initiatives that the board approved yesterday in addition to the new strategic plan. These initiatives are important. Many of you know USFRC, the Uniform Standard Financial Reporting Code. We need to do the same thing for industry metrics. We are, as clubs, evolving to where our boards expects us, expect us to evaluate our information and give them quick ratios and other information in the form that they understand for business. So we have established a task force that we are gonna bring industry in there, consultants in there, and members in there, and start developing what are the standard things that we as clubs should be looking at for successful clubs. Then we will be pushing that out to boards and help educate boards on what that means. This is a good step forward. In addition, we have established an automated data connections task force. That task force will work with the system providers in the club industry and the accountants in the industry and members to start to create a way to pull that data out and to create one utility or one repository for that financial data that can be accessible to you as members, can be accessible to the industry consultants and others, and standardize this so that we have a better stream of information coming out and it's easier for you to say, yes, I wanna participate, because the benefit of that will be that we don't have just a few hundred or a thousand clubs, we have everybody doing this. And it puts us to where it gives you more information to share with your board and make sure your operation is in best practice. These are very exciting. I am very excited about this. You should be too. Some events that are upcoming this year. Mid Management Conference is gonna be in New York City. We have leadership summits that are already out there. Florida, New York, and I'm missing one. Communication Summit will be here. That is going to be in Minneapolis. Capital Improvement Summit in Chicago. We have a new membership marketing summit coming out in the fall. And BMI International in Scotland. We don't have enough time to show you the video from Scotland, but it's gonna be playing a couple different times before Danny Meyer, maybe playing in the pro shop. Did you see the pro shop? We haven't had a pro shop in six, seven years. Thank you, Randy, for making that happen and pushing us to do that. Yesterday, we sold over $5,000 of, of merchandise. I am excited that you want to wear CMA loud and proud. 
You want more? We're going to be in this room, not because I expect all of you to attend, but we're tight on space, so we're going to be swimming in this room um, to, to do and ask the leadership session Sunday from 1 to 2. The annual report's online, as Randy said. The audit's online if you really are interested in that. The new strategic plan is online. Uh, and if you want to come here and ask questions, which each year we figure this might be the last year we do that, but we always fill up an hour with questions. And I love that, that dialogue because I love to hear what's on your mind. So that's what's up with us. I'm going to end with our theme for the year is connections and community. You are a wonderful community. The connections we have are rich. We all help each other, and it is a beautiful thing. And to close, as we focus over the next five years, we are going to rock this association. Thank you.